Hey guys, what's up? It's Bull for your one and only, and welcome back to some more Dragon Blaze. Now, before we actually look at these patch notes that are supposed to be up, which are like way earlier, I kind of wanted to get your guys like two cents on this. I wanted to know how you guys feel about the current state of like Dragon Blaze, because I know there's been like a lot of people getting tired of the game, feel like burnt out on it, or just pretty much quit the game in general. I know there's a few YouTubers who've gotten tired of it as well, I believe at least. But yeah, just wanted to know your guys like two cents on it, like the state of it, how you guys feel about it. But yeah, without further ado, we're going to get into the patch notes, which I'm actually surprised that are here pretty early. So it's on February the 6th. All right. So, oh no, I just saw it immediately. We're getting another adjustment. Hmm. Well, it has been going by pretty quickly, and it would really be nice at this point for it to continue. But for those guilds who have not been able to beat it, or have finally been able to beat it, are probably going to have, like, a little bit of issues there. Uh, reward changes for, like, purchase and stuff like that. Pretty sure. Actually, no. Okay, now it changes to selectors. You now only get transcendence from it. And... I think these are dailies. Login dailies. Okay, yeah, those are just purchase things. Oh yeah, the pet's coming back. Okay, Valentine's pet. Instead of the Christmas pet, it's a Valentine. Uh, drop rate is increased. So, I guess in items. The dungeon drop rate. What else? Oh! Our Valentine event is here. Along with nothing else really all that interesting. Valentine. The event shop always looks like this. Nothing new is added or anything. So, yeah, you're gonna have to get used to it. If anything, I say get a whole bunch of raid tickets. That's it. Ray tickets are the only really useful thing inside of the event shops, in my personal opinion. And our transcendent school costumes are coming. Alright, I've seen this in the Korean version. Just did not see all of them. All the only one I saw was the Encanter and the Rogues. Hmm. Let's see. The Rogues does look nice. I like his design. I might get it, but at the same time, I might skip it because I'm not in the good standing when it comes to rubies right now, and I'm using the rubies to level up all my characters and everything. So I might skip these skins. I mean, I already have a few decent skins anyway, so yeah. Really depends on the effects of them. Uh, so this one is mage, I'm guessing. This one is probably either... Hmm. I'm guessing this is Warrior. Here's the Encanter one. The Encanter one is alright. Not... Way better than the other ones. The Winter costumes we had got. It's way better than that one in my personal opinion. I'm guessing this is... Um, well, I really can't really tell the difference between these two. But I'm still going to say this is the Warrior and this is probably the Paladin. Uh, this one is Archer. Now, Archer's costume actually looks pretty nice with the jacket on the back. If anything, I might just grab the jacket. And here's the priest. Okay. But yeah, I can say their designs look pretty nice. And that's pretty much it for the past notes. Jesus, that was pretty quick. And I have a new team set up for just to try out. <laughs> Instead of putting Prome in here and trying to power my way through it. We have a full team of buffers. Let's see how this goes. Okay, hold up. We got fire support. Is that going to be alright? Not really sure. Eh, I think it'll be fine. It looks like it's going alright. They're all physical buffers. Try and put in Falcon. 
Alright, it seems like we're getting there-ish. I don't think we're gonna pass it though. Actually, yeah, we're gonna pass it by a little bit. Alright, sweet. So we got our start off up. Um, yeah, we should be getting there, but I'm pretty sure the second stage we have surpassed like really far. I don't think we're gonna get that again though. If I still had Omega, maybe. But I don't feel like making another Paladin. That's gonna be annoying. Ah, uh, we almost made it. We almost did. Yeah. Yeah, like here. The third stage, I don't think we're ever going to pass that again. I think that's kind of out of the question to, like, power up everyone here. Or, actually, it's proved me wrong a little bit. Because everybody's saying Goliath pretty decently. Scores being boosted. Okay, the whole family is alive right now. So I could be wrong. Actually, no, I'm wrong. We're not gonna make it. We we have fallen off. But at least we increase the uh, start off time again. So somewhat progress, somewhat not. I do want to see how long these guys like survive. Considering we have like a healers and a lot of protectors. So we could survive like. Well, I really don't know what our final score was, to be honest. I know it was like really far. I don't think we've survived the whole 10 minutes in here yet. At least that I know of. Doesn't look like anybody has been affected by bleed except for. Oh, never mind. A few people have. Not everyone, but a few people have. I don't know. Never mind. Everybody has been hit. I was looking at Margaret Summing, apparently. So, Margaret Summon takes its own buffs, too? That's weird, considering he doesn't really take damage, but... Alright. That threw me off a little bit. Landy is taking some damage. She's still pretty good for base inside of here. Which is shocking. Oh, we got the healing nurse up. Okay, cool. Alright, we might pass it. Okay, we passed the score. Never mind. Just had to give it a little bit of time. I'm not sure if this is the highest we've made. We're going to see in a few seconds. Yeah, that's the highest we've made. So, this pretty much beat our score. Okay, so, it was just like a large leap between that kept throwing me off every week. So, we basically beat it. Got a score like a mile. Everybody's still alive. Everybody's still going right now. Landy won't be in a few seconds. Because she's taking on a lot of damage. And her... Dot damage is getting serious. Yep. I should definitely switch somebody out of here. It's just in case it's like... Uh... Margaret some healer or something. No, just gave Bell something earlier. Alright, looks like the turtle didn't stand a chance this week. Somewhat. Ah, okay, cool. To be honest, I didn't think I was going to actually pass it. I probably could have passed it many times if I would have just kept going. Probably. But ever since uh, I kept falling off on... The whole, I think, um, 
seven minutes? No, I think it was like two minutes, technically. Two or three minutes. In and it was like, didn't pass that. I was just like, ah, I probably won't pass it like any further than that. But now I know to keep going. I just need to figure out a way to keep Landy alive. Probably just by putting her in a party, you know. Seems like everybody else is doing just fine without Landy. What the hell? Poor Landy. Nobody needed your help at all. Then again, you did heal everybody. Kept them alive. I think the family's down, isn't... Yeah, the whole family's down. Alright, I'll see you guys at the end of this so we can have a little bit of time for the tag matches. Alright guys, we got 15 seconds left and everybody's still alive. They could be dying at the end. Nah, they're good. So yeah, we survived 10 minutes for the first time. What the hell? I'm actually pretty shocked at that. But that's pretty cool. But that's our pathetic score. You know, next week we'll probably get it. <laughs> probably. Alright, so... Metis was doing the second largest damage. Compared to everybody else. Alright. Not half bad. Um, who do I want to take out? Let's go ahead and put... Helios. Helios says helper, but then again, I think we need to tank. I guess we'll just put Bell as helper, and we'll put Landy as a unit inside the actual team. And we'll try it next week and see how that goes. Uh, do we have any completes here? Yeah, we do, but I'm not putting those in yet. I'm trying to save gold here, so I'm trying to actually see if I get like a complete circle. Like I like here I just need six more. I'm not putting in the rogue or the priest just because I don't use them right now. The only priest I do use is Landy and she just only goes in my team for the our little framing turtle here. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and do tag. I need to do arena tonight. I'll do that later. Alright, let's see what matches we get. Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, let's take you out. Should we try Metis? Should we? <laughs> I mean... I don't really have anybody else here who is actually worthy of it right now. And before you say, um... Prome? No. Prome is definitely not good for it. Prome is a terrible character for Arena. Alright. Hopefully you can do some damage, you know? Wait, what? Now that you've wasted that, let's go ahead and do this.
they're pretty much just here to stall. Then Metis will stall next until we get a uh, Winlu back. There we go. You have the same idea? Okay, Marga died outside. Okay. Noted. Waiting for it to stun. Or not. Rip. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, there's so many things going on here. Like, Winlu is... Uh, what is going on here? Now that's a glitch if I ever saw one. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, let's go again. That's like the weirdest glitch I've ever seen. That's the, actually the first glitch like that I've seen. Or bug, whichever one. So let's go ahead and avoid your insta-kill BS. This is going to be a while. I love Teal for this. Hmm. Sadly, her damage isn't all that good right now. Until I get her to ultimate or something. But blocking that damage is actually pretty nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish that up. That's low enough. There we go. Then, when I force that Margaret out, not well then. Rip that Margaret. She was actually weaker than I thought she was. Excuse me, I'm gonna come out here and just. You know, stall that off. Don't mind me. Alright, so that should be gone. Okay, cool. Yeah, Metis is definitely not for this. <laughs> At least it, she's not like ultimate. I don't know. Rome just feels like a bad choice to bring in here. So we're just gonna... Let's just bring in Foxy. Whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> Alright, can you defend him off, Foxy? Let's see. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, you can totally defend him off. Great job. You scared him. You scared him away, Foxy. Alright. Next. Don't worry, we're gonna take an L real soon with Foxy. Nobody else woke. Yeah, there we go. Oh god, yeah, we're about to be taking a big L real soon.
He's taking less damage than I thought she would. What the hell? Yeah, this guy definitely has some good gears on him. And now I stun. Now we're going to take a few hits off that. I knew that this ability was going to kill. So nice. Oh, look. Let's go ahead and double till. <laughs> double the till. Yes. I don't know why I did it, but you know, it seemed like a fun idea. Infinite shields, more cooldown. <laughs> so beautiful. Okay, that's actually a retarded idea. That's actually working somehow. Because if you guys don't know, the puppet, this little puppet skill, the summon doesn't die. You have to actually kill it. It doesn't like time out or anything. You actually have to kill it. That's the unfortunate part of how strong the puppet skill is against encanters. Like, it's just literally just a full on counter to encanters. And figuring that I don't think he's going to be able to kill us at all, I think we're good. I think he was going to. I think he thought he was going to be able to take his summon back. with the puppet skill but once somebody takes the puppet skill pfft, puppet skill but once somebody takes your summon with the puppet skill you don't get it back at all it's pretty much gone until you actually kill it all right actually beat it all right or at least until the opponent switches out it automatically disappears if you switch out your character that has the puppet skill. Uh, should we make this our last one? What time are we on? Yeah, we're gonna make this our last one. Sadly, I can't do real long tags as much as I used to because I've been like really busy. And plus, I stream. I plan on like streaming today, so yeah, that's another thing. Oh, uh, which side am I? Oh. I feel like my HP got shortened. I don't know how, but I just feel that it's gotten shortened somehow. So I could have sworn my how I had way more HP than that. Meh. I'm not gonna really worry about it. Come on, guys, you got this. Got a hail to me how. Yeah, I'm not gonna win this. Unfortunately. I wonder, can Teal just stun her the whole time? Just make her lose her counter and stuff? Yeah, nah. She doesn't live that long. Rip. Oh, Jesus, Foxy. You do so much damage that it's actually pretty crazy. And stun. And summon. I don't know what the hell she summoned, but you know. <laughs> it's there. Alright, cool. Alright, guys. We're gonna end it there. Uh... 
I'll probably do this later. I probably won't. But, but you know, yeah. Remember my question at the beginning of the video, guys. I do you want to know you guys two cents on it? Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Have a nice day. Have an enjoyable day, guys. Meanwhile, on the Horror Channel. Okay, guys, we're gonna save it here. Uh, I'm pretty sure we. Oh, shit, you little fuck. You little fuck. You were just sitting there chilling. It's like, oh, that's cool.